Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this video I am going to show you how you can use a closed surface command in the part design in Katia V5. So to use a closed surface command I first have to create a surface. So basically this closed surface command is uh, uh, converting, a sol uh, converting a surface to a solid. So I am going to create a surface here. I find a surface design. Toolbars are missing. Go to customize and uh, go to the toolbars. Restore contents and restore positions. So I have all my tools here. So I'm going to create two surfaces right here. One. I'll come out of the sketch and do extrude of around uh, 20. So 20. So I'm going to do another surface right here and give sketch. This is my next surface. So I'm creating two surfaces so that I can better explain the conditions of using this tool. this particular surface to the solid. So uh, here comes the first condition. The surface which you are going to convert to the solid should be in one join. It should not be like two different pieces. It won't get converted to the solid. So go to the join, join command and select both of the surface and put it in one group that is join. Now go back, switch back to your uh, part design, go to the insert option surface base feature and uh, no surface so you're going you to get this warning no problem click ok and uh, select this join and click ok here is your solid so this simply explains how you can convert the surface to the solid but the beginners who, who is viewing this video will be having the doubt why can't I create this particular solid body in the part design itself. So I'm going to show now why this uh, tool, why this tool is very helpful and how this tool is going to help you out. So let's see. I'm going to create the same kind of surface here. seconds I've created the same kind of surface using the part design itself. So what is the importance of uh, this surface base feature in the part design? Why can't I create the same uh, object in the part design itself? So I'm going to explain it to you uh, by opening, opening up a file here. So this file here, what you can see is created in the surface design and it cannot be created in the part design. That's where our point is being explained. This surface design cannot be created in the part design, I repeat. So I'm going to convert this particular surface design to the part design. So, so for doing that, I'll uh, first initially do some basic operations like extract. So I'll convert my workbench to the wireframing surface design. So I'm going to extract. To know about extract you need to watch my previous videos. So I'll uh, split this. Go here, extract. Click OK. And I uh, need to extract one more. Insert operations, extract. Click OK. So split. So I've done this extract because the next point comes here, the next condition. The surface which you are going to convert to the solid should be having only one open. Before doing this extract, it was no, it was closed over here and it was creating two different closed surfaces. 
and if I try to combine this in one join, it won't get combined. That's the reason I've used this extract and I've removed this portion over here. So now I'm going to use a join command and I'm going to put everything into one particular join. So let's see how I'm going to do that. surface space feature close surface now I'll select this particular join and I'll click OK here you can see our body is being created now you can use the shell command right here click on the surface and click the thickness which you want for your mug so you can see your beautiful mug is being created so I'm going to hide the sketches which you can see all over here I'm hiding it so I can view this properly so in this way you can create the bodies the, the solid bodies which you want in any desired shapes by using the surface and then coming to the part design and converting it so for the people who doesn't know the difference between part design and surface design in the part design the surfaces uh, in the surface design uh, the elements are having zero thickness so that's the reason we need things in part design itself but the compli complicated uh, designs will be created in the surface and brought back to the part design using this closed surface feature so this feature is very important and uh, you need to know and you need to watch this video again and again uh, I recommend so I hope you follow my video and uh, if you have any queries regarding my videos uh, comment on my channel and uh, I need all your support likes and comments and everything and uh, all your support to keep uploading more videos subscribe me and make this chat make this channel lively thank you